It's Monday, March 3rd, 2014. I'm Ross Miller, future Razzie Award winner for Worst Combo. See, I play myself who plays against a dog. It's also kind of myself, but also dressed as an elderly man. It's, I need a new agent. This is 90 Seconds on the Verge. 12 Years a Slave took top honors at last night's Academy Awards. Steve McQueen is now the first black director to win Best Picture in the show's 86 year history. As for Gravity, while it didn't take home Best Picture, Alfonso Cuaron's science fiction epic did win seven other major awards, including Best Director. Cuaron is the first Latin American director to do so. We even got an EGOT last night. Robert Lopez, who won for Best Original Song, is now the 12th person ever to win an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Award. But the biggest winner of the night, Samsung. The Galaxy Note 3, or something very similar, was prominently on display last night as host Ellen DeGeneres took selfies during the telecast. One shot, with about a dozen celebrities and award winners, set a new Twitter retweet record, surpassing Obama's four more years tweet in just over a half an hour. And thank you, Bradley Cooper, for making sure this record-breaking tweet was not shot in portrait. And finally, park, reverse, neutral, drive, now iPhone. Apple today announced CarPlay, which effectively puts iOS on your dashboard. CarPlay is built primarily around the use of Siri for commands, dictation, and reading messages. Unsurprisingly, Apple Maps plays a large role here. More than a dozen car companies have signed up for the program, including Volvo, Ferrari, and Mercedes-Benz. The first such models will be out later this year. And that's it for today's top stories, but coming up tomorrow, Pharrell's hat finally makes its list of demands.